Welcome back to DeFi Tactics. Remember, this is not financial advice. Do not make any financial decisions based on my word alone. Always do your own research. With that said, today we're gonna to discuss Flare X and Flare Farm and how we can use those two protocols in order to earn up to three sources of income just on our Songbird tokens. Let's get to it. So to start off, let's go over what Flare X and Flare Farm are. Here we are on the main Flare Finance website, which is flr.finance. Scrolling down, we can see the products. Flare X enables users of the Flare network to swap currencies and earn passive income providing liquidity to liquidity pools. Decentralized on-demand liquidity is made available to traders through a simple and easy to use interface. Switching over to the farm product, Flare Farm is the ecosystem's primary governance yield farming platform and fair launch distribution platform, Launchpad. Flare Farm enables users to earn yield easily and effectively through participation in various staking pools. So let's break that down a little bit. Flare X is a decentralized exchange, meaning there is no third party overseeing the exchange of the tokens. Unlike centralized exchanges, which are order book style exchanges, Flare X is an automated market maker exchange. This means that instead of matching buyers and sellers based on an order book, everyday users can provide liquidity by entering the liquidity pools. In this example, when someone wants to take Songbird and trade it for Canary Dollar, they put Songbird into the liquidity pool and remove Canary Dollar. So we can provide liquidity to these liquidity pools in order to earn some of the fees that are taken every time a trade is executed. One thing we do have to worry about with providing liquidity to AMM style exchanges is impermanent loss. Essentially, impermanent loss is the difference of the value of the tokens you have if you had just kept them on the sidelines and waited for the price to go up or down versus providing liquidity and inserting that into a liquidity pool. Because the price changes and the ratio of the tokens change in the liquidity pool, the ratio of the tokens that you have in the pool will also change. And this leads to impermanent loss. However, I wanna make note, impermanent loss is only impermanent. As long as you remain in the liquidity pool, you do not take that loss. When you withdraw from the liquidity pool, that is when the impermanent loss becomes permanent. So the best strategy when entering and exiting liquidity pools is you wanna exit the pool when the value of the tokens are right around the same as when you entered the pool. So this is the V1 Flare X interface. As you can see, we've got our little candlestick chart right here. On the right hand side, you can swap between Songbird and Canary Dollar, and we've got our order history on the bottom. Clicking the liquidity tab at the top, we go to the providing liquidity page. This is where we can add or remove liquidity from these liquidity pools. In this case, you will always be providing 50-50 liquidity, meaning you will have 50% of Songbird and 50% of Canary Dollars. So if you wanna provide $100 worth of liquidity, $50 of that liquidity is gonna be Songbird and $50 of that is gonna be Canary Dollars. If you're getting anything out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button and left me a comment in the comment section below. Now the Flare Farms is gonna be launched during version two of Songbird Finance. So there's no interface currently where we can look and poke around and test things out. This will be launched with V2 or version two. However, we can start planning and figuring out what we're gonna do when V2 launches. So as you can see here, 650,000 D Flare will be allocated to yield farming participants who stake in the Songbird, Songbird Canary Dollar, and D Flare farming pools. Yield farming can be thought of as a fair token distribution launch pad. It's a way to get new tokens into the ecosystem without doing an ICO or initial coin offering. You might also hear it referred to as liquidity mining. So as it says here, you'll have the Songbird, Songbird Canary Dollar, and D-Flare farm pools. This means that when you stake your Songbird or liquidity pool tokens or D-Flare in these pools, we will be rewarded with either D-Flare or in the future, S-Fin. So let's get into the tactic or strategy on how we can earn up to three different sources of income by providing liquidity 
and yield farming. You can see up here, we've got the Flare X and Flare Farm rewards map that I put together. So as always, the first form of income that we're gonna get is by delegating that rap songbird to a signal provider to earn STSO rewards in the form of Songbird. So since that is a detachable vote, we're earning these rewards, but we can also put that token to use. So we can take that Songbird and Canary Dollar and put that into a Flare X liquidity pool. As with any liquidity pool, I put this warning here to factor in impermanent loss. That's something we always gotta be concerned or aware of. Not necessarily concerned, but definitely aware. So after providing Rap Songbird and Canary Dollar into the Flare X liquidity pool, we are gonna be provided a liquidity pool token. This will be denominated as Flare X. This liquidity pool token represents an amount or percentage of the liquidity pool that we own. When we want to withdraw our funds, we cash in or redeem our Flare X liquidity pool token and then get that percentage of the pool in Songbird and Canary Dollar. So when we enter the pool, we enter with Songbird, Canary Dollar, and we receive the liquidity pool token, Flare X. When we want to exit the liquidity pool, we redeem our Flare X liquidity pool token and receive Songbird and Canary Dollar. So now that we got the liquidity pool token overview covered, how else can we earn rewards? Well, the second way that we can earn rewards is we can take that liquidity pool token and put it into the Flare Farm yield farming protocol. According to what's been put out, you can also put Dflare and Canary Dollar in a single token pool on the platform once it launches. So we can provide our Flare X liquidity pool token into the Flare farm and currently once it launches we'll earn D Flare and then in the future we'll be earning S Fin. This represents the second form of income we can get from providing liquidity and utilizing Flare X and Flare Farm. With that said, these single token pools, such as the Canary Dollar Pool and the D Flare Pool on the Flare Farm protocol platform, those come with inherently less risk than the Flare X or the Songbird slash Canary Dollar liquidity pool token. This is because the dual token farms have to worry about that impermanent loss. Whereas D Flare and Canary Dollar, when you stake that in the farm, there is no worry that there's gonna be an impermanent loss. So again, our yield farming represents our second form of income that we can receive from the Flare X and Flare Farm protocol. Now, while the Flare X liquidity pool token is put in the yield farming protocol, you gotta remember that the Flare X liquidity pool token represents a share of the overall liquidity pool. Every time a trade is made in the Flare X platform, there is a fee that is associated with that transaction. Somebody wants to switch from Songbird to Canary Dollar, there's a fee. Somebody wants to switch from Canary Dollar to Songbird, there's a fee. Those fees are added back into the liquidity pool and those fees are redistributed to those who have provided liquidity in the liquidity pool. So some of the fees that are charged during the transaction process on the Flarex platform get sent to us as we have provided some liquidity. So when we decide to withdraw from our liquidity pool, we again send our Flare X liquidity pool token back to the platform and we withdraw our Songbird and Canary Dollar. However, we have also been collecting fees that whole time. So the fees from people swapping and trading on the decentralized exchange, we get a portion of that. So that represents our third source of income fees from the liquidity pools. So once more running through this rewards map real quickly, we've got our Songbird, which we delegate to a signal provider to earn us more Songbird, which we then compound. We take our Songbird and some Canary Dollars and provide that to a liquidity pool where we receive Flare X, the liquidity pool token. We then throw that into the yield farming platform Flare Farms where we earn D Flare and in the future S Fin. We then decide we want to withdraw from the liquidity pool, so we redeem our liquidity pool token, Flare X, and we get our Canary Dollar Songbird back 
with the fees that have been accumulating from each and every trade that's happened on Flare X. So that about wraps it up for this video. Again, I just wanted to do a brief overview of Flare X and Flare Farm and this rewards map that really shows and puts it in front of us on how we can earn up to three different income streams just from our Songbird tokens. As always, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. We'll catch you next time on DeFi Tactics. It utilizes the automated everyday user, meaning whatever you put into the pool will be equal value of canary dollars and equal value. So that about wraps it up for this video. Again, I just wanted to go. Uh,